Today was Disney Plus Day, and Disney dropped a whole bunch of announcements regarding upcoming projects from in-house Disney, as well as Marvel and Lucasfilm. So let's start with the biggest chunk of news, the in-house Disney. Now, a lot of these announcements are stuff we more or less already knew about, but we did get a bit more information on them. And the first bit of Disney Plus Day news, at least from the website that I used to sort this all, is that their Cheaper by the Dozen remake will be releasing in March 2022. Obviously, this is a remake of the 2003 film with Steve Martin, which itself was a remake of a movie from 1950. I enjoyed the Steve Martin version, and I want to be optimistic about this one, but the fact that the main actor in this one is the same actor as Chicken Little, like, I, I get it, not everyone can be Steve Martin, but I don't know, the fact that it is coming out, you know, less than 20 years after the first one, like, I don't know, but Steve Martin one is still considered pretty iconic, so I don't know what they're going to do with that one. Next bit of Disney news, we sort of have a projected release date for Disenchanted, the sequel to 2007's Enchanted, starring Amy Adams. That will be releasing as a Disney Plus original movie in fall 2022. It's not going to theaters. It's going straight to streaming. I love Enchanted. In fact, I got tired of Enchanted, or waiting for Enchanted to hit Disney Plus, so I bought the Blu-ray a few months ago, and ironically, it actually released on Disney Plus today, but at least I still have a physical copy, so that's always nice. Amy Adams will be returning as Giselle, as well as James Marsden, Patrick Dempsey, and Idina Menzel in their respective roles from the first film. But new to this film are cast members Maya Rudolph and Oscar Nunez as new characters. I don't really know where there is for the story to go after the first one. They seem like they tied everything up with the bow pretty well, but okay, we'll, we'll see what they do with this. I don't know where the story could go for Enchanted 2, though. This next bit of news, apparently Disney and Fox either changed their minds during production of this, or I simply misunderstood when they first announced this. It was my understanding that the animated Diary of Wimpy Kid remake movie would be a pilot for a TV show. Like, they were going to do the movie that's coming out in a few weeks as basically a movie-length pilot, and then they were going to spin it off as a TV show. But that either appears to no longer be the case, or I simply misunderstood, as they just announced that they're already working on a movie sequel to that film that will also be animated. We're getting an animated remake or adaptation of the second movie or book, Diary of a Big Kid, Roderick Rules. That will be premiering in 2022. Like I said, I assume this is going to be a TV show, but I guess they're going the Harry Potter route and just doing one book as a movie annually. Now, there's, not a, there's no new information about this next project, but we do have a poster for the live-action Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers starring John Mulaney and Andy Samberg. We don't see what they look like or anything, but you can see that cheeky little tagline, a reboot, 30 years in the making with the word reboot crossed out and replaced with the word comeback. Now, this show was way before my time, and when they announced live-action movie, I thought, what a bad idea. You know, you're doing a live-action Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers movie, but then they announced John Mulaney and Andy Samberg, both of whom are very, very funny, so I'm a bit more excited for this. No exact release date, but as you can see on the poster, it says spring 2022, which isn't that far off. Spring's, like, you know, just a few months away, so I assume we're going to get footage of some sort very, very soon. This next one was interesting to me because this is still based off of an existing property, but I'd never heard of it. Apparently, this is based off of book, and it's called Better Nate Than Ever, and I assume this was some sort of Big Nate project, like based off the Big Nate books, but apparently not. The IMDb plot synopsis reads, 13-year-old Nate Foster is an unpopular Midwestern kid who entertains vivid fantasies of becoming a big Broadway musical star. In the meantime, however, Nate can't even get a decent role in his middle school's drama productions, getting cast as a tree in the chorus instead of the lead role he craves. However, when he and his best friend Libby mastermind a daring trip to New York City without their parents' knowledge to audition for Lilo and Stitch the Musical, Nate, be a, Nate may be on the verge of fulfilling his lifelong dream, but first he has to overcome a series of comical obstacles that threaten his Broadway adventure with disaster at every farcical turn. Now, I've never read this book, so I, but I assume the Lilo and Stitch musical thing was made up for this movie. I mean, the sounds like it could be fun, though. Obviously, the word first school is in the plot summary, so it's clearly meant to be a comedy. At least, I think so. I'm curious about this. I'll keep an eye out for the trailer. And if you have read this book, are you excited? Let me know your thoughts. That will be releasing in spring 2022. This next one we've known for a long time was coming out. And it's a movie that it seems everybody but me is excited for. And it's Hocus Pocus 2. They gave us a quick set photo of the actresses in costume. No super information other than the ball is rolling, the train is moving, it's filming, it's coming out. I'm not a fan of the original at all, but let me know your thoughts and excitement level. We got huge casting information for this next movie. They announced last year that 
Robert Zemeckis is directing a live-action remake of Pinocchio. We didn't initially get much information at first other than it stars Tom Hanks, but the rest of the cast has now been unveiled. Tom Hanks will be starring as Geppetto, Cynthia Erivo as Blue Fairy, Luke Evans as The Coachman, Lorraine Bracco as Sophia the Seagull, Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Jiminy Cricket, Keegan Michael Key as Honest John, and Benjamin Evan Ainsworth as Pinocchio. Now, I assume it's, I don't know if Sophia the Seagull, I don't know if that's a new character that they made up for this new version, or if that was somebody who was in the book. So as I read the book, but it was a long time ago, and I don't remember there being a seagull. But again, I read the book like 15 years ago, so I don't know. <laughs> so was there a seagull in the book? I don't know. But anyway, just let me know about that. Anyway, there was a live-action Pinocchio movie already, though, for The Wonderful World of Disney in 1996, starring Jonathan Taylor Thomas, and that abomination was nightmare fuel. So hopefully in 26 years, filmmaking and technology will have improved enough that Pinocchio will look cute and charming instead of whatever that was. This is another announcement from Disney and Fox. Now, I already did a trailer reaction to this, but it is Ice Age, Adventures of Buck Wild, or Ice Age 6. That will be releasing on January 28th, 2022. This is a movie I never heard of before today, and that is Sneakerella. I like the aesthetic of the trailer. It's a fun idea doing suburban New York in the Heights type Cinderella, but really, like, I didn't do a trailer reaction to this or anything because it's not a huge project, but watching the trailer, like, okay, so it's gender swap Cinderella set in suburban New York. It kind of reminds me of In the Heights, but I'm not super excited for this, though. A trailer was dropped for the Proud Family continuation, the Proud Family Louder and Prouder. I wasn't a huge fan of the original show. I've seen a few episodes, and I liked what I saw of it, so I'll check this out, but I'm not super hyped. And personally, I think the animation somehow looks worse than the original. Like, the original show came out, like, 20 years ago, and yet somehow in 20 years, the animation somehow looks worse. So anyway, that'll be premiering in February 2022. High School Musical, the musical, the series, that's a mouthful, got renewed for season three. Haven't seen a single episode of this, nor do I plan to, simply because it's a docu-series, it's just not that interesting to me. But clearly it's popular enough, it has its fans, it has enough that it's getting season three. No exact release date other than 2022. This next one I am excited for, and I'm actually curious as to how this started production. That is a live-action TV series based on the Spiderwick Chronicles. And the reason I say I'm curious about the details of production is because this was actually a movie already in 2008, but it wasn't from Disney, it was from Nickelodeon. So I'm curious as to what led to the changing of hands for the rights to the books. I love the books, I love the movie, it's a fun fantasy world, I'm excited to see what they do with it, but it does raise the question, how long is the show actually going to be, though? Because the books themselves are not that long. They're only like 100 pages or so per book, and they were able to cram all of the books into one film pretty well. And the last book was published in 2004, so there's not any new books that they're adapting from. So there's only like five or six books in the original series, so... I don't know. I don't know how long this could work. So this is going to be like Netflix's Let Me Stick It, where they add a lot of extra stuff and expand it. I'm curious. I'm excited for it. I'm just wondering, is this going to be like a mini series or something? Because there's not a lot to adapt. Next project, Baymax. We got a trailer. I already put out my trailer reaction to this. I'm always excited for more Baymax or anything related to Big Hero 6. And unlike the previous TV show that was on Disney XD, this is CGI as opposed to the anime type style. And this looks to be less of a superhero focused show and more focusing on Baymax as his healthcare provider role. Baymax is adorable. This looks kind of funny. That's coming out in summer 2022. Zootopia Plus has projected release date of 2022. No new info other than its shorts, like Doug Days or Olaf Presents. So this is not a full 20-minute per episode series. It's shorts. They gave us a poster. The poster looks pretty good. I'm sure this will be clever and funny. Regarding Tiana, we have a projected release date for that of 2023, and we have a brief plot summary. In the series, Tiana sets off for a grand new adventure, the newly crowned Princess of Baldonia, but a calling to her new Orleans past isn't far behind. They also gave us some concept art, and the Princess of the Frog movie is a lot of fun. I'm a bit excited for this. And that's it for in-house Disney, but moving on to the other side of the animation studio, Pixar. Last year, they announced they were working on a Cars series, which at the time was just titled Cars the Series, but that now has a new title, which frankly isn't that much better in my opinion. This new title isn't much better, but it's called Cars on the Road, which is about as generic as a title as you can get. Because at least with Cars the Series, it states exactly what's on the box. Just like Lilo and Stitch the Series, Hercules the Series, Aladdin the Series. Cars on the Road, 
outside of saying Pixar, like Cars on the Road out of context, sounds like a documentary series on the Discovery Channel or something. We did get a bit of what this is going to be about, though. Join Mater and Lightning McQueen in this fun-filled cross-country road trip, streaming in 2022. We also got some concept art. Here it is. I mean, is anybody over the age of five excited for this, though? Cars is like nobody's favorite Pixar movie who is over the age of five. So I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll check it out, but I'm like, out of all the movies they could have chosen to do a TV show of, they chose Cars. Incredibles has so much more potential, but really? Cars? We also got some concept art for an original Pixar series titled Win or Lose. Each 20-minute episode of Win or Lose highlights the perspective of a different character as a middle school co-ed softball team prepares for their championship game. Now, this sounds interesting because this is an original idea. This isn't based off of a movie. This isn't like Monsters at Work, even though I enjoyed Monsters at Work. You know, but I mean, all these Pixar series, all of them are based off of, off of previously existing stuff. This is an original idea. This sounds interesting. We do have to bit, wait a bit longer for that one, though. That doesn't come out until 2023. And now to probably the biggest announcements today, Marvel. They dropped a hulk size amount of news today. The majority of these we already knew of, but there's some new stuff as well. We finally got a tease of Moon Knight. I'm not going to show the footage here because YouTube's copyright system is awful, but it's out there. Google it. Brief as it is, I'm excited for it. That's coming in 2022. Same thing with She-Hulk. We got a wee bit of footage, including some of Mark Ruffalo as Hulk. <clears throat> we got little glimpses of what Jennifer Walters looks like as She-Hulk in the show, and I was impressed. It looks great. It doesn't look cheap. That's also releasing sometime in 2022. We also got a brief bit of footage from Ms. Marvel. I've started playing the Avengers PS4 game. I love her in that. So if she's written anything like how she is in, in the game, how she is in the show, I'm a bit excited for this. That's summer 2022. And here's some new stuff they announced. A show called Echo. And I had to Google this because I've never heard of this. But apparently this character is the daughter of Kingpin. So that's intriguing. And Ironheart, which we knew already, but there's the logo. This is just to say we're, this is still coming out. We haven't canceled this. We didn't decide to cancel this. It's coming out. Here's the logo. And the WandaVision spinoff about Agatha that was announced a few months ago has an official title and logo. And it's a very clever punny title. It's called Agatha House of Harkness. We got a logo for Secret Invasion, as well as a look at Nick Fury without his eye patch. The Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special has a logo, and I assume that comes out next year. There's not an exact release date, but I, was, I would assume 2022. And also, I Am Groot, which is not a full-fledged series. It's a series of shorts, which makes a lot more sense, because I don't think you can have Groot for a full 20-minute episodes. <laughs> Also, some very bombshell announcements with these last three Marvel projects. Sony and Disney are apparently playing nice because Spider-Man is getting an animated Disney Plus series titled Spider-Man Freshman Year. No word on if Tom Holland is coming back or if it's even connected to the MCU or if this is an alternate universe. Does freshman year mean college as in this takes place after No Way Home or is this yet another reboot? Like, is it freshman year of high school? How many times does Uncle Ben need to die? How many times do we have... Marvel What If got renewed for season two. Very excited to see if they continue on some of the plot lines for season one. But on top of that, the What If show is also getting a spinoff of its own based on the Zombies episode. Marvel Zombies is getting a full series. I'm very excited to see what they do with that. But perhaps the biggest announcement that made every 90s kid squeal in utter delight is the huge bombshell that the legendary iconic series X-Men the Animated Series will be continuing. It is not a reboot, ladies and gentlemen. This is a new season. It is continuing on. It is in the same continuity, and it's called X-Men 97. There's no release date, but I think that's probably the most exciting out of all these Marvel announcements. Lucasfilm was still technically there, but they were more there in spirit because they didn't really give us a lot. There was a cast announcement, a behind-the-scenes look at Willow. You can stream that... Uh, that first look, that's on Disney Plus. Just search up Willow, click the show. That's coming out in 2022. There wasn't any footage or anything. It was just him kind of introducing us to the cast members. No plot details or anything other than this is coming out. We're filming it. And there's some brief behind-the-scenes footage of Obi-Wan and some concept art. Very excited for all of this. So let me know, what are you most excited for? And of all these announcements. So let me know your thoughts, and I will see you next time.